Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's product demo webinar, how to easily integrate process equipment using module type package technology. Let's begin with a brief overview of what MTP is. Module type package or MTP is a vendor neutral interface specification. It is used to define the many common interface categories encountered when integrating complex process control equipment into your plants. One of the key ideas of MTP is based on decentralized intelligence residing in the modular package units or SCIDs. The parts of the standard currently available describe such things as the communications interface and IO, HMI, and even services for invoking various operations on the process equipment, such as starting or stopping a motor or initiating a cleaning cycle. A couple of key terms you will hear a lot when working with MTP integrations are process orchestration layer or POL and process equipment assembly layer or PEA. When applying this terminology to our Emerson MTP products, the POL will be Delta V, the control system responsible for operations and supervisory control of the PEAs. And the PEAs will be our PAC systems PLCs, such as the CPL410 and RX3i platforms, and our AMS machinery health and prediction devices, such as the AMS asset monitor. The two distinct layers are physically connected using standard ethernet, and the data exchange leverages OPC UA as the communication protocol. Let's take a look at a real world example of how a function SCID makes its way from an OEM into a production facility using MTP. All right, so we'll be taking you through a product demonstration. The first part will be programming the process equipment assembly. To do that, I have a hypothetical SCID here of a filtration system. So the filtration system will be controlled by an Emerson PLC with MTP technology. We also have Slice I.O. that will be taking in the inputs and sending out the outputs. The filtration system will have a inlet valve motor, a few analog indication elements, a level switch, an outlet valve, and a flow indication. So one thing to realize is that PAC Machine Edition provides you blocks and data objects that can be used to control the different pieces of equipment that compose the filtration system. And I'll walk you through the steps of actually putting together the controls for the outlet valve Y002. So step one is creating the logic, and I'll walk you through that now. All right, to program the lower level or the process equipment assembly, I use the Emerson PAC Machine Edition. This is the integrated development environment that is used to program all Emerson PLCs. You can come over here and see in the navigator a tree view of your application. I have the filter 001 application with the target HMI, which is a quick panel, so I can configure the local HMI here, and I also have a target for the SCID PLC. This is what I will focus on for this demonstration. The SCID PLC can be programmed with MTP data objects to allow it to have the interfaces to the process orchestration level. So I'll start by coming over here to show you the relay ladder diagram with some AnaView blocks in it. So here I have an AnaView block that takes the temperature of the filter 001 and maps it to a variable. This will have a data object associated with limits and engineering units that will go up to the process orchestration level. I have the properties that I can configure here so I have the low scale limit set to zero and the high scale limit set to 125 and the engineering unit set to Celsius. Over here, you'll see a tool chest that has all the library objects. So included in one of the libraries called MTP objects are all of the 25 MTP objects. 
So for this, I want to program the control logic for the outlet valve of the filter 001 for YY02. So you can drag it in and then position it on the function block diagram. I will call the object Y002. So I'll bring that up and position it correctly. I can then go and enable the execution of the block. I can also go and have the output named. Open command. So now with this, I have the data object for the bistable valve. This has the corresponding control logic in, included within the data object. It also will have a representation in the OPCUA address space on the PLC that acts as an OPCUA server. It serves up the data to the process orchestration layer. So as you can see in the slide, we have the PEA and the control logic already created. And now we will do step two, which is the export. All right, to export the MTP file in Pack Machine Edition, first thing I would do is to go to the actual PLC that I want to create the module type package for and make sure that is, it is named as part of the properties for that PLC target. So you can see here, I have the module type package name set to filter 001. So then I can come back up here and just simply right click on it and export module type package. I can then save the MTP to my local drive or to a flash drive. And now I'm ready to hand off both the MTP logic program and the SCID along with my AML file to the plant engineer to integrate it into the plant. So all they need to do is take that file and import it into the process orchestration level. Now that I've received the filtration unit at my site, I'm going to take the MTP provided to me by Keith and show you how easy it is to integrate into Delta V by doing an import using our MTP merge utility. Let's take a walk over to our Delta V engineering station. So the first thing that we'll do is take a look at the Delta V system. So I've got here on the screen Delta V Explorer. Um, I've got a copy of the uh, MTP file that was given to me by Keith here. <clears throat> Um, and so the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll launch the MTP, the new Delta V MTP merge utility. Um, this utility is going to allow you to import the MTP file, make a series of decisions uh, as you uh, process that MTP file and convert the MTP into Delta V format. The application is designed in a wizard-like format, so it'll walk you step-by-step -step through the process of merging your MTP into Delta V. So the first step here is to select your MTP. So uh, the next step is the select item step. The select item step is where the user will be able to pick the specific content from the MTP file that they would like to bring into Delta V. The next step is the configure tab. So this is where we're going to make our first kind of Delta V decisions. Uh, the, the first thing that we're going to deal with are the control modules that will get created in Delta V that allow uh, for, for the landing of those signals so that they can be used in control strategies uh, and in an operator display. The next thing that we'll do is we're going to deal with assignment to the OPC UA client in the Delta V system. So Delta V being that it is the process orchestration layer will act uh, as the, the OPC UA client and bring in information from a variety of OPC UA servers residing on the process equipment assemblies. All right, the third, the, the third to last step is the rename step. So on this step, 
Um, this will allow you to rename any of the control modules that get uh, created through the process in the event that anything here has a conflict with something in the system. So I'm going to go on to the next step. This will generate an FHX for import into Delta V. This last step here gives you an idea of what is created in the Delta V system. So that's it. That's how easy it is. Let's recap what we covered in today's session. Keith showed you how to easily program a PLC-based process SCID using our new MTP tools. I then showed how this greatly enabled a shortened integration cycle into your Delta V system. These new tools will ultimately lead to reduced risk and cost, shortened project schedules, and increased flexibility in your production.